Right, sorry about that. Where are they taking you? Well, someone was clearly having a bad time of it. Munted, high, both? Stand over there. This looks like it's right out of Resplendent Sword. Surely they didn't. made arrow and to top it all off there's heavy rain forecast perfect bloody timing there's an outpost not far why don't you take shelter there and see if there's any more clues as to what we're dealing with here as I suspected. Our props, burglar. And it looks like they've made a spectacular exit. What kind of tricks have you used to lure in that many seeker deer? I might have to hire you to give tourists lessons. The stuff from the photograph. What's the appeal of this rubbish?
must have left in a real hurry. Can you put the signs back up at least? Uh, yeah. I think that's as good as you're going to get it looking. Now we know where our pickup truck went. Glad to see the back of it. But look at me talking. You're so tough to death. Get inside and I'll fill you in on what Josh told me. Someone's been making themselves at home. Please tell me that's not what I think it is. It is. That's where our poor little deer ended up. It must smell vile. Right, so I had the nephew track down that license plate number. And our props burglar is none other than a local menace by the name of Gad Barden. He's got a whole social media empire under the moniker of Gira Ros Blessing. Blogs, Hootube, Quick Mess, The Works. With exclusive behind the scenes shots from on location movie sets. And guess what? He's resplendent sword mad. Got heaps of photos from all over the reserve up on here. His latest blog entry is quite something. Salutations, followers and friends, blah, blah, have been out of contact, lost my way in the ever-shifting forests, foul supper left me ill some nights. 1080 poisoning. He's lucky to be alive, the Muppet. Let me send you the link. Uh, usually get Josh to help me out with this. There. Check your hunter, mate. Think he just hallucinated that terrifying creature? He certainly has an overactive imagination. I'll give him that. It's too far inland for a Taniva and not humanoid enough for a Patipayare here. Unless... Anyway, he's an absolute bloody idiot, but I'm glad he's alive. This could have gone so much worse, and it's my own stupid fault for allowing them to film here. I just hate seeing the place disrespected. It's not just the bush, it's my home. I grew up a stone's throw from here. No one's around anymore, but you're welcome to swing by the old house once the filming's wrapped up if you're still in the area. I'll send someone by to clean this up later. Let's get back on track. <laughs> 